Spotlight in Ventura County. I'm Katie Miller. And I'm Jimmy Miller. On today's show, we will shine our spotlight on several different social service agencies in Ventura County. You will meet the people in charge and learn about what services they provide to benefit the community. We will learn about Carl Canine Adoption, El Centrito Family Learning Centers, Friends of Channel Coast State Parks, Girls in Power, Habitat for Humanity, Straight Up Ventura, and the YMCA. In our first story, Nicole, Alma, and Jessica took a trip to Santa Paula to learn about Carl. Welcome to Carl, as we are commonly known in the area. Uh, we are a no-kill dog rescue. We receive no federal, state, or local funding. We are, are all on a purely voluntary basis support. Uh, we are not breed specific. We take all comers. The volunteers of Carl share a symbiotic relationship with the animals, where both benefit from rehabilitation and the bond formed with one another. I lost my very first dog when I was 18 and I wasn't ready to have my own dog for a while. So I just, but I still wanted to be around dogs. It gives me happiness. It makes my heart feel better. I love seeing the dogs every day. To me, they're my children. So just seeing them every day just makes me happy. Their kennel and dedicated volunteers juggle various responsibilities, expanding their good will throughout the community. I make all the specials for the dogs. I'll make regulars, do meds, move dogs, um, take dogs in, give them shots, microchip them, clean them up, bathe them, um, dry them off, take them for walks. Carl is a lifelong health and wellness center with veterinary care daily exercise, and interaction. The mental and physical health is of great importance as the foster program allows the animals to transition from kennel life into lifelong homes. I really, uh, I really respect the commitment that they have to their dogs. If they take a dog, it is for that dog's life. Carl is always willing to go the extra mile and one pops into my mind. Uh, this was several years ago. We had uh, a very large German Shepherd, and he was pretty much uh, a rocket. He bounced off everything. And uh, he was with a, a foster family, and he basically was a four-paw demolition crew. I think he took their house apart. They moved to the East Coast, and they said if they managed to get a home of their own, they wanted this dog. So, you know, we smiled and said yes. and thought, you know, that's a very nice sentiment. And lo and behold, he remained with us a couple of years. And we got a phone call one day, and indeed, they had their own home, and they wanted Billy to come and live with them. So we uh, put Billy on an airplane along with one of our volunteers and flew him to New York. And then we rented a car and drove him up to the New England States. And Billy was reunited with a family that loved him totally. I don't know about you, Katie, but I love dogs, so I'm happy to see that we have a no-kill agency in our county. I agree, Jimmy. I have a dog and he's a part of our family. Another great agency in our county is El Centrito Family Learning Center. Caitlin and John went to Oxnard to learn about the services that they provide. Joseph Castaneda and I am the Executive Director at El Centrito Family Learning Centers. El Centrito operates 122 preschool spaces. We are bilingual, bicultural in our services, but we also make sure that we partner with the parents. So we're sharing not only the preschool with the students, but also sharing skills and leadership trainings with the parents so that they can take the learning home and prime the path all the way through university. Padres Promotores es un programa que apoya a padres que les está dando información, los estamos motivando, uh, estamos tratando de formar líderes en nuestra comunidad de que hay muchos, muchos padres latinos que tienen mucho conocimiento y mucho que aportar a la comunidad. My name is Sonia Marroquín and I am the Toddler Co-op Teacher Coordinator as well as the After School STEAM Academy Coordinator and Teacher. One of the projects that we really liked, well, that they really liked and I absolutely adored, was the we had an airplane competition, and we were teaching them about the four forces of flight. 
it takes learning math on a piece of paper where it's two plus two to actually hands-on activities that show them the context of learning but also the importance of learning. A student that doesn't like school when they ask why they have to do well in school is not motivated, not motivated by saying you have to you have to do good in school because you have to go to university. Because you're basically saying you have to finish school so you can do more school. But what really helps them is saying you can design cars in the future or you can do some kind of skilled work that is meaningful to you that you need an education for. Caitlin and John did a great job on that story. The teachers really seemed to like their jobs. What a great organization and what an important service they provide. That's right, Katie. I wish I had something like that when I was young. Maybe I would have done better in that math class. Speaking of math, how many volunteers do you think it takes to build a house? I have no idea. How many? Well, at Habitat for Humanity, the more the merrier. Chad, Olivia, and Paige went to a groundbreaking ceremony for Habitat for Humanity, and here's their story. The Habitat for Humanity of Ventura County was founded in 1983 and focuses on a simple mission statement. Yeah, Habitat, uh, the mission of Habitat for Humanity is to seek to do God's will uh, and put God's will into action to build homes, community, and hope. Our goal is to, to help eliminate substandard housing and give families a hand up rather than a hand out. So we work in partnership with those families in building a simple, decent home. The April 5th, 2014 groundbreaking marked an important new milestone in Habitat for Humanity as they started a new eight-home build. Today's groundbreaking is, was a monumental occasion because we've been in, in works now for approximately two years to get this development moving forward. A wonderful experience, a, a wonderful milestone in the development of this, it's a tremendous opportunity. The efforts of the organization are not only successful from a goal achieving standpoint, but also in the form of improving the lives of many people. We're really excited about the house. Um, we didn't think we were going to get a chance like this and you know we we got the house so we're just waiting to build it and you know so we can live in it in addition to building homes habitat for humanity of ventura county also does preserve a home visits these projects help elderly or disabled homeowners with the upkeep of their homes we also do what we call our home preservation program so this year we will complete about 15 uh, supportive projects of homeowners in the county who are of low income and have a need to renovate or repair their home in some way. Habitat for Humanity has been very successful in its endeavors thus far, and its biggest helpers are those that volunteer. Volunteers are vital to the continued success of Habitat for Humanity of Ventura County. To get involved with Habitat for Humanity is very easy. Most people are fearful that they say, I don't have any construction experience, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable at a build site. But there's many opportunities to come and learn through Habitat those skills that you need. We team you up with a team leader or a crew leader who is more experienced and makes it a learning experience and a fun experience. But besides construction, we do have opportunities within our ReStore and also on our many different committees that we have, for example, family selection, family partnering. Those committees get involved early on in selecting the families and then mentoring the families as they go through the transition from being a renter to homeowner. Although Habitat for Humanity has been very successful, there are many long-term goals that the organization still needs help with. So our needs are financial in getting dollars to build that, volunteer labor in order to build those homes in partnership with those families, and then also partnerships with the counties and cities in our community so that they might be able to donate land to us. What a great service. Millard and Linda Fuller founded Habitat for Humanity International in 1976. Today they are true world leaders in addressing the issues of poverty housing. Even our former president, Jimmy Carter, was involved with it. Yes, and they provide a much needed service to our community. One service you wouldn't think of as a social service is the state parks in Ventura County. But Friends of the Channel Coast State Parks is just that. For this story, Sahal joined both myself and Katie to find out more about what they do. My name is Melissa Batha and I'm the Executive Director of Friends of Channel Coast State Parks. 
We are the nonprofit organization that partners with the state parks in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. And our mission is to support the parks and to help connect people with the rich natural and cultural resources that are contained within our parks. The time don't show when the sun gets killed. And basically what we help to do is just fill that gap between what the state provides and what the parks need. We serve the parks along the coast in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. So going from south to north, the specific parks that people may be familiar with are McGrath State Beach in Oxnard, San Buenaventura State Beach and Emma Wood State Beach in Ventura, Carpinteria State Beach in Carpinteria, El Capitan State Beach, Refugio State Beach, Gaviota State Park, and then up in the hills above Santa Barbara, we have Chumash Painted Cave State Historic Park. So we have many different opportunities for people to get involved. So um, the, the basic idea behind the kayak program was to give people a fun, healthy, outdoor recreation opportunity that they could engage in that was safe with all of the equipment provided. People come and, and join us. We've got State Parks lifeguards who are there that give a short lesson on how to kayak and um, then we all go out on the water for a paddle and we see what we see. Sometimes we see sea lions and seals, you know, paddling around or lounging on the docks or on the boats. One of the things that I really like about the kayak program is that it gives people that opportunity to get out there and do something that's, you know, active and healthy, but it's also really safe. Having the lifeguards there gives people that extra layer of safety. Being outdoors and seeing the wildlife and just getting to experience that, it's just, it's just good for life. It's great. I really enjoy being out here with this program, um, getting people involved uh, in, in the kayaking because it's something that you see today. Everybody can do it. You know. I, I wanted to get over my fear of being in the water, and so I thought this would be a good opportunity uh, you know, to get out and do it. So Friends of Channel Coast State Parks for the past 30 years has been working to try and support these state parks to not only serve our visitors which come through our parks from outside of the area, which is about two million visitors per year, but also our communities that surround us year round. We really have some great parks in our county, and to be able to hike and camp right on the Pacific Ocean is also special. And speaking of special, this next agency provides a very special service to young females in the county. Emma and Tora did their story on Girls in Power. Girls in Power is a nonprofit organization running and operating in Westlake Village, California. We run workshops for girls online and offline. We believe every girl is worthy and that there's an unseen potential just waiting to be tapped in. The Girls in Power workshops provide tools for communication and confidence. The girls are here to have fun build strength and bond in sisterhood. The curriculum of the program targets both the children and their parents. It opens up the channel of communication and teaches the parents to listen, follow the child, observe, try to be more patient and understand what they're saying. On the other hand, children typically are not, not exactly excited to share their information with a with parent because of certain fears or emotions. And this program essentially provides the child and helps the child open up to their parents. So the thing that impacted me so much about Melinda's program is that she was teaching the girls practically. We weren't just running through counseling sessions and talking about just our feelings. We were doing things. They were learning something practical. They were learning how to balance their checkbook. We taught 
we taught some computer skills to some of the kids. We did cooking lessons. And while we were doing that, the girls started talking about their lives and themselves. And I think once you, you form that sisterhood with the girls, you start to learn more about them than just asking them questions. Girls in Power inspires youth to have purpose and for girls to connect their hearts to their community and give back. Okay. Yeah. They are really teaching them some great life skills. A lot of girls who come from homes where the parents are not always there really benefit from a strong role model and mentor. I'm glad our community is able to offer this program. Yes, those girls are learning valuable skills. Next up is Straight Up, Ventura County. Milo and Chris have this story for us. In Ventura County, the latest weapon in the fight against adolescent risk behaviors isn't law enforcement or restrictions, but improv. Straight Up Ventura County is a youth outreach program designed to address the concerns of binge drinking, impaired driving, and prescription drug misuse through improvisational techniques and interactive engagement to create discussion, explore issues, and develop personal community solutions. Straight Up Executive Director Catherine Casimir met with us for an exclusive interview. That you know, people want to say to parents is we all need to be addressing this, that even if you have a good kid, it doesn't mean they're not involved in this. And even if they're not, this is the world they live in. So you really need to understand it in a way to be able to talk with them, to have family policies that keep your kids safe. And it's not just something we can address with kids. We really need to look at it as a community issue. One of the most effective methods of Straight Up's program is the Reality Party, a staged social experiment in which the many volunteer stage actors of Straight Up recreate an out-of-control drinking soiree to educate audiences about the hazards involved with this kind of behavior. Volunteers affirm that it's not only enjoyable, but also gets their point across. We get to hang out with our friends and have a good time and put on a show for parents, so that way we can teach them the dangers of teen drinking parties and, and help them avoid having their teen get caught in one of those and one of those dangerous situations. And so that's one of the great things about reality parties is that you're still able to have fun with your day even though you're giving up all of your day to show the parents how dangerous and how they can prote protect their ch child. We can always use more volunteers whether that be young people or adult volunteers to help support the young people in their work. Um, of course, as a nonprofit, funding is also very important. And then we're even looking for people to work on our board of directors, uh, all types of things that are involved in, in running an organization we can use support with as well. Straight Up is sponsored by the Ventura County Behavioral Health Department and is always looking for volunteers. For more information, please call 805-647-4622. Another great agency. I had no idea there were so many great services available in our county. I didn't either, Jimmy. Our last agency is YMCA. I think all of us have been to YMCA at least once, but there are a lot of services they provide that you probably didn't know about. Xavier and Matt went to visit the YMCA to find out what they have to offer. Do you even lift, bro? The Southeast Ventura County and Miller Family YMCA say that you should, along with other healthy activities daily in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle. YMCA held an event on Saturday, April 26th, to promote healthy living amongst our youth. All decked out with different fitness stations, Southeast Ventura County YMCA CEO Rick Polite talked about the events, its objective, and his overall experience. This is Healthy Kids Day, and it, we're celebrating this as part of the National YMCA movement, and it's all about helping our communities understand that kids need to be more active than what they are on a daily basis and that activity can be fun. Well, today is the uh, YMCA's Healthy Kids Day and um, it's just their way of promoting healthy lifestyles for youth and families and I'm just here to help out in, in uh, getting things going and getting the kids involved. Andy Dominguez, chairman of the board for the Southeast Ventura County YMCA, spoke enthusiastically about involvement and the involvement was visible. Not only did this event rely on community involvement, and participation, but on community involvement as well, and community volunteers. All right, right now we're encouraging people to come out and, you know, do some fitness. And all the events here are just, you know, a little exercise you can do, and hopefully, like, people know hopefully when the kids are done, 
when they go back home, they want to meet them there. Volunteers like Alexander helped to facilitate in the process of encouraging the youth to actively take on a healthier lifestyle. The YMCA felt that the event was a success, and they hope to hold more events like this in the future. Great story, guys. When I graduate and lose my free gym membership here at CLU, I guess I'll have to look into being a member there. I guess I will, too. Well, that's it for this episode of Spotlight in Ventura County. Thanks to all the people who make these agencies work, and thanks to the reporters for covering these stories. I'm Katie Miller. And I'm Jimmy Miller. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.